Welcome everybody to the Media Cows walkthrough of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Tom is here with me. Hello! And if you're not familiar with who I am, I am Ray. Uh, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid since uh, Sons of Liberty, Tom. What, what is your background with this game? I played one, I played two, I, I beat both of those, and then I just kind of lost track of the series. Whoa, well that's, wow, three is very good, Tom. I, I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about every single one of them. Yeah, uh, I haven't played any of the portables or any of the handhelds or anything like that. But, okay. and also, glaring omission, not, I haven't played the first one, Metal Gear Solid. Ah, uh, um, yeah. I, I bet it would hold up pretty well, actually. I've tried it in the past. I tried like the GameCube version and whatnot, and I don't know. I couldn't get around the controls, but that's because I'd been playing the newer ones, so that you know I, I was used to. I don't know. Maybe now, now that I'm a professional gamer, I could probably ha handle it. But uh, the way this game works is that you have Ground Zeroes as your main mission. This is the prologue for Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Once you've beaten the main main quest in this game, which can be pretty short if you know what you're doing, but the, the, the appeal of this comes from playing it more than once and playing it in different ways. Uh, once you've beaten that, there's side ops here. Uh, I've not I've played any of these, so I'm not exactly sure, but I assume they're they're in the same area, and you just have smaller objectives. Something is secret, Tom. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Yeah. I must know exactly what it is. <laughs> but we're going to jump into the main mission of Ground Zeroes. Um, we're going to do our best, since this is a Metal Gear Solid game, to go in as stealthy as possible, not get caught. However, if we do have to waste a guy or two, we'll we'll do what we have to do. And um. Tom, are you ready? I am so ready. Let's do this. Snake stands up all valiantly. told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. She didn't suffer long. 
here. You earned it. How's it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Pass to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Pass is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point.
We'll send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission meets backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. You may have noticed, Tom, that that is not David Hayter. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to recon the area. If you ready your weapon while crawling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. That's the refugee camp. I hear it's where they hold refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. So, yeah, Keith Sutherland? Sutherland? How do you say his name? Keith Sutherland, yeah. Kiefer, the Kiefer guy. Uh, he's, uh, he's now the voice of our Indeed. friend Snake here. No um, longer is it David Hayter. You can no. use that to take out their vehicles or anti-air guns. But you'll be broadcasting your position to the whole base. If you're gonna use it, be ready. So I do have a couple of extra weapons here for my first time completing this. Um, not gonna use any of the new stuff though. We're gonna pretend as though this is my very first time playing this game. All right. So um, what is what is the new stuff? I'm guessing that rocket launcher. That's is rocket that rocket launcher and the the SMG that was on the ground. I left it there though. Uh, so okay. those are the two new weapons that you wouldn't have on your first playthrough. All right. Well, we will. We stripped ourselves from using that. That's right. Uh, we gotta quickly get up here before this light goes back around us. Triangle is the climb button, Tom. It's, it's one of the most used buttons in this game, actually. Oh. If you're going to eliminate him, use a gun. So I could shoot this guy in the head if I wanted to, Tom. But I, I don't want to. I want to make him not even think anybody's here. See me, I'm... I'm such a troll, I'd just be tempted to bust out the rocket launcher and just immediately betray our <laughs> promise to not use the extra weapons. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. Alright, so this is our magical iDroid, Tom. Mm -hmm. And we can see that it, it, it's an all-in-one sort of system. So we started Indeed. here. We're now here. Where we need to get to is here. Now okay. come. Um, these are some landing zones that we can call in a helicopter for, but right now they're red because there's um, big things on them that won't let us... They'll shoot down the helicopter. Okay. Some um, anti-air. Yeah, basically. Uh, th this is where you're going to find your, your reg regular mission data. Um, this there's... is the transmission we intercepted. She... Yeah, I'm not listening to you. There's pictures and whatnot. None of that's really important. Um, there's a ton of content in this, actually, if you want to take the time and look at... These are all tapes that can be played. Wow, yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, there's a 
crap ton of stuff in here. If you want to listen to some music while you're playing the game, you can do that. Um, there's wow. some Peace Walker stuff in there. Ride of the Valkyries. Of course. Uh, more diaries, if you wanted to take the time to either listen or read those. I'm not sure which is which. I think um, you should try and find a moment to queue up Ride of the Valkyries at some point in this walkthrough. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should. Choose shall. wisely, Raymond. <laughs> uh, we, well, let's head to the prison for now, though. 